My name is Miles Prowler, but everyone calls me Tails. Eggman just announced his evil plans to take over the world. He just blew up half the moon with his powerful weapon, and now he's threatening to take over the planet. I'll make sure that won't happen. Eggman's tapping into the energy of the Chaos Emeralds to power that weapon. It's up to me now. I'll find Eggman and the Chaos Emeralds. First, I have to find a safe place to hide. Elude an enemy pursuit. Hey all you people, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. With me, you know, Shazen, as your commentator today. So, last episode we just did a ton of crap, and almost none of it was actually story related. And today I'm going to hopefully continue the story just a little bit. Uh, I might start the dark story today. And I know I won't be doing any child stuff for a little bit until, um... I get, like, some name ideas for the child themselves. Uh, because as of this recording, I haven't uploaded the other, the previous video. So, yeah, that's gonna need to happen pretty soon. Okay. Oh no! We fell. Whatever shall we do? Well, I'll tell you. you come over here, and you get Tails' first upgrade, the booster. Basically, this allows you to glide a little bit whenever you jump. Like this. It also makes the most annoying ass sound in existence. Get the crap out of here. Get the balls out of here. Also, this looks really funny. Or at least to me it does. That is a lot of targets. Go Terrasu! So, with this thing, we can actually do decent platforming instead of having to not do decent platforming. <laughs> also, I, I haven't mentioned this yet, I really like the song, I don't know why. I just, I kind of find that the, the instruments they picked, like the, the I, th I believe it's, a, yeah, a sitar in the beginning. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was a cool idea by by the, the peeps who made the soundtrack. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the main dude's name right now. Kind of sorry. Okay, let's see. I need to get some more uh, run chaos things like that one. Man, that's gonna turn fucked up. Now this level is one of the few tables levels that is in total shit. Really, it isn't that bad, or at least it isn't as bad as I expected when I first played it. Um. <sighs> yeah, I mean it's nothing to write home about. Really, it's just Tails' version of a shadow level that will probably not play this episode. But it's something, I guess. And something is usually better than nothing. Usually. Ugh. Ugh. Tails, come on. There. Good enough. Obviously, I'm not going to shoot for any decent scores uh, with Tails, because I don't think I'll ever be good at his levels, really. So if you hit this button, that thing is going to stay there, so you'll just be able to run all the way over here and not uh, have bullshit happen to you. Put in, in layman's terms. Oh shit. The oh shit won't happen. It's Layman's definition. Layman is Rayman's brother. I, I don't know. Sure, why not? Uh, my original character, do not steal. Layman. Layman for Rayman, whatever comes after Legends. Okay. So, Layman was created in a laboratory 50 years ago, and and he was originally created to help heal the sick and poor, but rather than that, uh, the scientist dude who made him sort of turned insane because uh, his best friend, or, well, uh, layman's best friend who was the scientist dude's, like, niece or daughter or something, she got killed. So, uh, yeah, needless to say, the scientist dude was pissed. So he basically made uh, Layman into the ultimate weapon, 
and so now he's struggling to regain his lost memories and identity. And he ca he came across various well-known heroes in his story, along with some interesting new uh, dark people. But then he turns kind of good in the end. But but then he also has to sacrifice himself because he's like, I'm a hero in the end. So then everyone like forgives him for all the shit that he's done for no reason. But then it turns out he didn't really die because he's too OP for that. Instead of that, he actually lost his memory from the fall. Yeah, that's totally what happened. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, he died by falling off of a spaceship onto Earth. Doesn't that sound badass? Well, it is. And yeah, that, that's that's what happened. Ow. Uh, he yeah. And then some more games were made that involved him. One of, one time he even got his own game, and it really kind of sucked a lot. And they tried to expand upon his story a little bit in the game after that, but that game was a broken mess. Very good. Not unlike the one that I was... Oh, never mind. But that's the story of Layman, original character Do Not Steal. Oh man. Oh, Aquatic Mine, I forgot about this level. This one just kind of shows up out of nowhere. When I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Aw oh, man, Knuckles. Friggin' Aquatic Mine. It's so aquatic and miney. That's my kind of level. So, this is Aquatic Mine. Probably one of the better Knuckles levels, just because it's fairly simple. Oh, I almost forgot him. I have to uh, pick up the upgrade on die. Okay, so... The- oh! I think I just saw it. Shut the hell up, Omo Chow. Also, I just noticed your voice is not playing, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, so... Crap, how... How do you do this again? I, I'm kind of- I'm drawing a blank on how to get the upgrade. Oh! <laughs> well, accidental em- Accidental Emerald, just sitting there. There we go. Okay, that should give me enough time uh, to head over to the upgrade and pick it up. And I could still get a B rank, probably. I think that the upgrade's over here. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. No, it isn't. That's a lie. So it's in the other one. I know that there's another one somewhere. Uh, oh, damn it, I thought this was the one with the spring. Also, how are you climbing up that nothing? So you have, you have, like, magical climbing abilities. Magic, I tell you. Magic! Oh, shit. Did I actually have to have the thing on the stuff? I think I did have to have the thing on the stuff. So that means I have to go all the way back over here. I have to raise the water level. I have to raise the roof. Oh my god, shut the hell up, Omo Chow. I don't care what you're gonna say. It sucks. Just like you. Shut up, Knuckles. Yes, you can. Believe in yourself. Kablam! This is it. Now, what we're gonna get here is going to be very helpful in the last story level. Uh, because in the last level, there was a ton of water, and what this does, with this uh, item that we're getting, what it does is it allows Knuckles to essentially just stay underwater forever. So, obviously, it's gonna be really fucking useful if we don't die. Come on, Knuckles. There we go, here it is. And it is the Air Necklace. This allows you to stay underwater forever, as I just said. And it makes the last level super easy, because otherwise you'll have to go through a very, very difficult maze type thing. And so, I am not willing to do that. I am a lazy-ass hoe. So, yeah. Be careful there. And once we get up to the top of this, we can head up to the top here. And there we go. Uh, so where could the last one be? The last emerald. I remember... It was, like, sort of in this area-ish. So it's probably gonna be in that room that I almost went into a minute ago. Let's see, so three and a half minutes. This isn't not too bad. I mean, obviously it's not anything record-breaking, but since I had to go and get the, uh, breathing, whatever, air necklace, 
I'd say it's a pretty decent time so far. Of course, I may just take like two hours on this one emerald shard. Oh, looks like it's right here. I think it was actually in that same spot in my first version of the LP. I found him. I should get an A rank. So I got two perfects and an awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this is perfect. So for Knuckles level, so far I've gotten three A's, I believe. So that's not too bad. Uh, so after this, I think I'll probably go to the dark story for a little while. Oh, I love this song. It's there like always seems to be a lot so dumb. Around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? Sonic 2001. For some reason, that's I'm not getting a beautiful quote. Six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the Emeralds. What the hell's up with Amy's face? face? She's all like, mmm. Outer space? What is up with her face? Like, seriously, the people who are animating her probably had, like, the most fun time of their lives. Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Why does Knuckles' anyway? nose move when he talks? Hey, where are you it's going? Here. Move aside, Knuckles! I managed to find the transcript okay, between Eggman and the President in the government computer. Because right that's how that works, right? Oh, the tornado! P3A tornado, I almost forgot about it. Wait, I wonder what the text on the side says, like above tornado. It says, like, I think it says something, like, maybe it says Tails' name. I don't know. I don't know. Oh god, I hate this level. Oh god, I hate this level. Well, actually, no, I don't hate this level. I mean, compared to the rest of the Tails levels, it's great. But compared to, like, all the Sonic and Shadow levels, and some of the Knuckles ones, and one of Rouge's, it sucks. Actually, no, two of Rouge's, sorry. One of them is a level just like this one. So. Ah, I hate the freaking every- Ugh, Screw it, I'm going to the dark story. It's more fun. Story select. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Oh, the echo is real. Also, this is not in widescreen. Why? <laughs> Make up your mind game. Whoa, awesome explosion effects. Oh man, EGGMEN. That's Eggman's theme. That means something bad's gonna happen. Don't tempt fate, Eggman. You might be able to win this one. In fact, we actually know that you win this one. Well, actually, no, we don't, because I skipped that one cutscene. Because you're like, lend me your ears, and I was like, shut up, Eggman, I don't want that. And yeah. As seen in episode two! Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. So basically, Eggman is... It, he controls exactly the same as Tails. He's just Tails, except he was made before Tails was in this game, so he's actually the original. So Tails is actually Eggman. Half-Life 3 confirmed, because Tails is Eggman. Isn't that how that works? You combine two... You connect or combine two things that have literally nothing to do with anything, and then you're like, it's confirmed! I think that's how it works. I mean, I don't usually make that joke, if you can call it a joke. So. Level two door breach. Oh no, not a level 2 security door breach. This is unprecedented. Oh man, when Eggman's around, you have to expect anything. Expect the unexpected. Because he is the Eggman. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna refer to the lyrics of that song, although it isn't too bad. There we go. So Eggman's levels are definitely a step up from Tails's. Also, I believe he also has an upgrade behind a... Yep, you can see it right over there. I think that's like a bazooka. It like upgrades his, uh, this thing. Or no, sorry, it upgrades like the, the lock-on one, I think. Like it makes it that instead of just shooting like weak-ass yellow shit, he shoots slightly less weak-ass green shit. And then Tails has, uh, 
has that same kind of thing too, except it shoots like blue or something. Probably to like represent Sanic. Okay. So we could actually jump over here, but we have no reason to do that, so I'm not gonna do it. Oh man, level 4 security door. You guys gotta watch out now. Some random dude riding a really stupid looking mech is doing shit. You should stop him with a bunch of robots that just float around and don't even shoot. That'll work. And here we go. Here we go. Good blam. I believe the next level we'll have, because we're starting to reach the end of this one. Um Emergency defense mode. <laughs> emergency defense mode is literally just like close two doors. And then like have a couple more robots just kinda around the area. And then yeah. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I'm sorry, there is a bit more. You have to come over here. And it's like, oh shit, there's a bunch of stuff blocking the way. And then you go back here. And then Eggman Eggman's like, bitch. And kablam. Now just sprint through. Rolling around at the speed of sound. And here's the end, and if you miss the chat container, there's another one right there. Um I might as well break this one. I'm gonna a few animals. Now what's cool is just like Tails, whenever you use Eggman in the Chow world, he actually is outside of his mech. B. That's just like what Sonic says. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> also, apparently Eggman has his own, like, little logo thing. I'd like to imagine him, like, spin-dashing. So anyways, Eggman can actually run just as fast as Sonic can, apparently. I mean, that's just what I've heard. But he can apparently run just as fast as Sonic, which is apparently a nod to, like... Sonic Adventure, or not Sonic Adventure, uh, to, I believe, Sonic 2 or Sonic 3. Also, Eggman, stop that. I don't, there are kids watching. Probably. Probably not. I mean, my audience is so teeny. I only have, like, six people. Times ten. That's not, that's not too many, regardless. Wait, 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 wait. Why do you just say, did you just say? Sounds like he's saying Yosha, and I was like, dude, how how you know my name? Ugh, oh, stop saying that, Eggman, it's creeping me out. Here, give this dude a skunk. And then give him another skunk. Punish him for all of the bullcrap that he's done. Uh this one I believe also has run for its best stat, so I should be uh, recycling the tiger. Except, doing the infinite animal glitch with Eggman is really difficult, as far as I've been able to, uh, tell. No, damn it. Okay, I have one more chance at this. Okay, you are gonna sit there, and you're gonna take it. You're gonna take- oh. No! You only wanna throw you across the room. Okay. Bye, chow peeps. So now we can use Eggman in the Chow world. Oh man. Level 7. Level 7 security door breach. Execute awesome super omega ultra turbo hyper the new challengers security defense system. Oh shit, it's too late. So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Eggman, don't be an ass. You just interrupted me. Enter user data. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the chaos. You know, now that I know a little bit about how Japanese like characters and things work, him doing Maria like that kind of makes more sense. Cause I don't know why he would just say why he wouldn't just say Maria. <laughs> Aw man, we get to see the mech's dick for a second, except it doesn't have one. <laughs> just like Eggman! 
Also, I've always wondered, does Eggman have, like, his legs, like, tucked into the legs of the mech? Because that would be the best. That would literally be the best. Yes, that black and red hedgehog with tanner skin than Sonic's is clearly Sonic. This is impossible. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, oh man, you're into some kinky shit. Will grant you one wish. Oh man. Dude, one wish. Behold the true power I possess. Damn it, Eggman, you didn't wish. This is Scorpion Trip's contract. You could have just wished kill the shit out of everyone who opposes me. And then Shadow would have been like, done. And then he would have done it. But no, you had to let him show his true power he possesses. And then fucking kill this thing in place of letting you have your wish. Which would have involved killing this thing anyway. Freaking Eggman. I do not think that you were a freaking smart dude at all. Oh shit, I didn't know if that actually hit anyone, ever. I always thought that was just a really stupid looking reticle effect that fires something that never hits anything. I guess I shouldn't underestimate this flying dog. Or hotshot, or whatever it is. I don't know, maybe- No, flying dog is the one that Rouge fights. There's, there's uh, Bigfoot and hotshot. Bigfoot is the one Sonic fights, as you saw in episode 1. And, oh shit, no, 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 ow, owie. No, 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 no! Oh my god. How could I lose in this boss fight? That's kind of saddening. Enemy movement has been detected. Don't you have eyes? Can't you just look and see the fucking huge-headed hedgehog just, like, sitting there waiting to murder you? No, of course not. Because you're hot shot. And Hotshot is blind. Ah, oh, damn it. I have to do a spin jump. Whatever. Oh my god, there we go, finally. There we go. Yeah, it's. Sh whatever. I was, just, I was gonna make some kind of funny, snarky remark, but then I couldn't really think of anything. I'm sorry. He is too strong! Did you hear that declaration? He is too strong! Destroying that darn robot was spectacular! So, Shadow, you are the military. That face. <laughs> that fucking face just now. Did you mean? He just Oh my god, that was unintentionally hilarious. Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! Ugh. I'll be waiting for you in the central control room. On the space colony arc. Thanks for not telling him how to get there. It's like, what if, what if he, like, fucking dies on the way there by, like, falling into a bunch of sand in the desert? Just let it go. You just don't I'm not gonna know. Make, make a reference up, to that. So we've already seen this cutscene, so I'm just gonna skip it. Except, as you saw there, Knuckles actually has his equipment on, which is pretty interesting. So if I'd actually beaten the hero story first, Knuckles would have had, like, a pair of sunglasses on, and it would have looked hilarious. Uh, so this is Rouge's first level, it's called Dry Lagoon. Getting the Chow container here is extremely easy. Well, I mean all three of them, but the first one's, like, right there, so you have no excuses for not finding it. Uh, where could it be? The first emerald shard, I mean. Also, how... How is that even possible? Do shadows work that way? I don't think they do. I mean, we just met Shadow, and he doesn't work that way. Okay, you know, you're kind of... Oh, well, that was accidental. Unintentional, whatever word you want to use. Oh, you actually have to use this, like, box thing in, um... In a mission. Like, in a... The hard mode mission of this level. Oh my god, how- oh yeah, this is how. So what you have to do is you have to save this thing from the two robots. And if you just kind of sit on it. Oh, whoops. So if you- I said if you just- There. You're inexplicably teleported. Um... Okay, well, it appears that the next shard is underwater. It might even be in the same place as when I first dumped this. Probably not. 
Um, now where are the balls? What? what? No, seriously, what, where are it? Oh wait, it might be up high. Like on top of all the pillars. No. Where is it then? How odd. Maybe it's under one of these things. I mean, it's all yellow over here, so like... Oh! I saw that for like a split second. Actually, I didn't. I just kind of heard it. Because I'm wearing dumb headphones. Okay, can I- is- is it possible for me to just kind of see it some- Oh shit, I forgot Rouge can drown. <laughs> I forgot Rouge isn't a fish! She is slimy and gross like a fish, though. True story. For true story. dun 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 I don't know how I didn't notice that before. I got it. Two minutes, 46 seconds. That's pretty shitty. I don't know what my record on this level is, but it's definitely better than... Two and a half minutes. A B, it's yeah. All too easy for me. Damn it. I was hoping to get an A on all of Rouge's levels, too. Then again, since I have to go to Mad Space, I doubt I would ever be able to get that. And now Rouge gets her pink thing instead of a kind of reddish one, because, I mean, doesn't Rouge mean red? Also, Jiggle Physics. Why is that a thing? Why is that even a thing in this game? I don't. I, just, just that. That. that that's. Just, just that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's just. Let's just leave. And. Sand Ocean. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Totally. Well, um, you know, about that, Eggman, I'm gonna do this next episode. Probably. I may even just switch back to the hero story. I don't know yet. But I hope you all enjoyed this ever so slightly shorter episode of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And next time we're gonna just do some more stuff, I guess. Uh, if I do get some suggestions and things in the comments, or PMs or whatever, Skype even for uh, the Chow names. Wait, what did you just say? Eggman just said something. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can if I can extract that little bit of audio and put that up or uh, raise the volume. But anyways, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next episode. It really depends on what you guys do. So if I actually do get suggestions and things for the chows, I'll probably go and visit them first. If not... I'm really getting tired of operating this machine. Okay then, Eggman. So now there's no time for games. Farewell.